Hello and welcome to Actual Foundations. Currently, we are going to be starting a new campaign on the, uh, the beta branch, as you can see over here. A lot of changes. If you want to know all of them, just um, go to Steam, visit the store's website, or watch some video from Captain Collins explaining all of the, uh, the changes, the fixes, all of the details. Let's get started on this. I don't want to go too much into it, because I'm just excited to go into a new game it's been so long i've been playing so much with the terran campaign and i'm actually looking forward to something new now we had version 4.1 there's going to be two new additions here the custom game edi editor and we have the custom game editor one is creative which it just it doesn't give you like you don't have to worry about money if you want to start with an s card an xl uh, battleship you can do so with budget it's a bit different. Now, if I were to launch my X4 game as the Terrans, the, the budget will change. As it says that, um, it, was, it says here, so this option lets you customize the universe. You start in uh, with uh, changes limited to a budget based on what you have already achieved. So say you've conquered the galaxy, I would envision you can start a big gas fleet and conquer it again. I see no point in that actually and i kind of not like it but here we go let's go into budgeted i have I've tried a few but we'll make a new one so you know what's been going on so if you are new to 4.1 and you have not loaded any games your budget is 300 000. and with that comes the discovery vanguard which has a turret and a rocket launcher not here in the picture though this one has two turrets so it's interesting I'm not sure if I want that. I, I kind of feel it would be nice if we can start as a mining ship, perhaps. Do some mining and get a second miner and get in a new scout ship or a combat vessel. Doing missions like that. You can do missions with a mining ship. So let's get into here. You can add the name of your character. In mine is going to be daily fix. The character you can have Argon. Can I can I go down like this? No, I can't. I'm using my uh, my numpad actually. Uh, female two, female one, female three, and all the way on to the Terran male three. And I'm thinking we might go pyramid. And the reason for it is simple. Um, the Terrans have so little building space, and Oh, actually so many so so few building options that's what i'm trying to say they have too few building options the pyramids have an amazing architecture and there's so much more you can do so i'm very excited about that uh, we're going to be lowering our personal uh starting balance and we're going to be adding wares here now you can add a seda uh, 1.9 million credits we don't have that we can't do that and uh, i promise you i'm not going to be over over stretching this start here let's get the things that are i don't need to disrupt the engine i'm not even sure what it does if you do know that let me know so if, mm, preferred building method yeah that's fine and we'll go with foundation red sure starting ship now i'm not sure if i'm correct but we'll see about that but I was thinking the this one is the medium ship of of the pyramid, and if I'm wrong, that's uh, very very likely that I could be. So I'm hoping it's not the case. Let's go add a bit of a basic thing over here, not the arrogant. Let's go with pa pa shields mark one place. Uh, we need to keep our budget here in the three thousand. So. I do want to add, where are you, mining, that's the Terran stuff, mining drill mark 1, how expensive, oh definitely the mark 1, and the turrets, I'm thinking this is going to be very expensive, I'm not sure I can do all the turrets in one go, uh, maybe, maybe it's not that bad, let's go here, now, uh, I see no changes in the balance there to the bottom right. 
We don't need the police scanner. Something like this. I'm actually quite in. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we can start with a medium size. That's amazing. So, satellites. Also, resource probes. Trying to stick to a budget here. So, let's do... Free on free. That's 290. We don't need flares. And as for people, we can have eight. Which is not true. Uh, when you start on a new save, you can only have 1,040 personnel. Unfortunately... This um, means that you can have only two. So this is going to be our starting ship. I kinda, it's, a, it's a nice looking ship. Let's confirm that. So I'm not sure if this is, say, pyramid style. It looks kind of like it, so I'm kind of hoping it is. But oh well. Property is where you can add stations. Add stations, add fleets. You will have to build your own fleets if you're into that. And by all means, go for it. Universe, you can select. What do you know? What is it that you know about the known universe? So you can roleplay. Say, um, my my parents were born in Second Contact. No, no. Let's say Holy Vision. And let's remove Argon Prime over here. We're going to be on bad terms with the Argon Primes. I, I think that would be cool. I think that would be cool. Now, hitting this plus here, you can say, uh, we know all of the stations. Fork satellite cover, it's a million. Ooh, that is very expensive. But it is interesting to start with everything on the satellite. I do know, like this one, like getting all of the stations in there. And I also believe that Pontifex Claim is... Also somewhere we can mine. Can we do true sight as well? The more we know about these, the better. Cardinal's address. Can we do it like this? No. We know there is something in here then. We can also start. No, we cannot. We could remove... I kind of want to see where those stations are. Especially early on when we are going to be mining. So, 8 point, can I squeeze? Well, we can remove... We can do it like this. We start over here. Almost right on top of the gate. And we will remove the Lasting Vengeance. So, let's go here. Lasting Vengeance. And I, I think this is such a cool thing. You can actually look the entire map. If you're going for Bozatar, he is over here in 6.1, apparently. So we can already see how we can actually get there, which is cool. So we know that now. And yeah, there's some. It, it's, it's nice to see the entire map like this. You don't have to search for it. So we can't use all of our knowledge points, which is unfortunate. Let us go into faction relationship. Um, I kind of like... Moving these to zero, if we want to dock up, they would allow us. Uh, I kind of don't like that the Yaki is completely pissed at us. And we are going to be on bad terms. Let's say negative 15, so we cannot dock there. With the Antigon and the Arrogant. What can we do? What shall we do? The God Realm of Pyramid. Let us increase this. And you can see that our relation points in here. Actually, for those of you, here's the number for which we can spend. Like 1,400. Uh, let's increase this. Ooh, well, we can't even afford that. To 12. Which would give us the very first options. Um, we can get the police listing. And... I believe also the trade license, license when we get the 10 million. So with all of that, um, I think this is going to be cool. Let me uh, let me do a bit of a uh, screenshot in here. So we have a thumbnail. There we go. And I'll meet you in the game. And here we are. I, I just did a quick save. And... The amount of time required is so much less. I was able to count to 20, 20 seconds, and it was 
1 minute 20 which is insane so let's go with the map and you can see that um, we now know all of the stations in here we know what they want what where did they want it like ore refinery uh, hull parts we got helium refinery microchip refined goods oh i like that because they would probably need do we need ore Mm, no, we don't. Interesting. Oh, it's a refined goods, not refined metals. What we will be looking for is a silicon refinery over here. I'm very, very pleased with that, that we can actually find it. Also, all of the stations in these two areas, and we spawned right next to the gate, where I was hoping we would get spawned. Now, we have some silicon in here, which is a glorious amount. I'm very happy about this uh, system let's do a change um, because I don't like the logo which we start with always it's always this one and I kind of hate it uh, let's go to our own logo and the organization name we will leave it open now this is a um, a twitch YouTube series it's not streamed right now but if you want to be in the series let me know in the comment section guys and once we actually reach uh, those large ships extra large ships or maybe fleets maybe stations uh, we can use your names for it doesn't need to be your name could be anything you can even request what kind of a station it needs to be however if stations are taken they are taken and i can i will probably not build them again if if we don't need to so it's fine let us um, now move over and i believe the gate hits us i'm not sure where but i, I believe it was over here first things first we are next to this gate so we will use it now we are flying a medium as you can see we do not have defensive capabilities so we'll be a bit slow and this means that this is where my change will be for you is uh, for YouTube I'm um, I'm going to be trying to cut away the majority of the traveling so let's go over here so we are in a Entering new system, system. Lasting vengeance. we'll um we'll definitely take a look later currently I want to go over there let's go on the other pilot Autopilot. let's see how it Engage. flies usually it flies a bit better and oh my look at that does look good oh yeah that's really nice oh that is really good I love it oh that is very dark I'm, I'm trying to make a, a good screenshot here for a uh, for a thumbnail but um, you know me you know me I, I, I can't hardly do those things um, hopefully I guessed correctly on where the gate is so what i'll do now is uh, i'm leave the tinkering to me and i'll see you once we have actually reached true sight actually i noticed this um this hop or refinery um uh, we're going to be disabling no i don't want to change we're disabling that we are going to be showing what they've changed with the um with 4.1 and it's going to be absolutely glorious glorious i'll uh, i'll show you let us um slow down completely and we're going to be dropping a resource probe and i've never been so excited about anything in this game than the resource probes because the resource probes by now deploy resource probe they have a range, they, we have a border guys, it is amazing, it is so damn good, I'm so happy about that, we can now see how much they cover, now there is a bunch of silicon in here, there is even more ore, it's um, not that much difference, but we have a silicon refinery and an ore refinery, so let's start guidance over there, we drop in a satellite, Resource pro. I'm so happy about this, 15 per kilometer that is so good i can start right over here not worrying about anything else even though we are in this very very small ship i'm thinking the very first ship that we will buy is going to be the scout ship um just so we can do some missions 
I also don't want to make the episodes too long, so I'll most likely like record up to 30 minutes and just start cutting out the traveling, cutting out the majority of the boring stuff for you guys. Up spices, there's it's a lot going on in here. Now, once we drop the satellite, I know where I can go, and I can, if we drop it down here, would it be enough to cover this entire range? I do not know. But uh, we'll get back on our route to Holy Vision, and we'll drop a satellite near the pyramids, and a satellite near the, um, the extra large shipping yard, also where the, uh... oh, look at that, that looks so damn good. I love these cone shape guys. I know it's difficult to build them because they have only one connection point, which is to the bottom. And I believe this is a small one, which has it. Um, oh, this is to the bottom. This is to the uh, the top there. Uh, so do forgive me. Let us um, let us move forward. Okay, where are we? We're over here. Well, um, let's see. Can we see some of the lines? I don't think it will cover. I don't think. I think we need to drop it down right now. So, satellite. Actually, look at that. It does cover it. You can check that out. Updating trade office says yes. This gives you... At least, it, it will do everything for you. This is so good. Uh, what do you need? Trade offers. You would need... You sell shield components. Oh, I'm looking so... I'm, I'm going to enjoy doing, like, distribution and stuff. That is so damn cool. Okay, let us head over there. And... Auto go to pilot. autopilot. Engage. And I'll see you in uh, in Holy Vision again. Okay, so we Entering just system. made it Holy to Vision. Holy Vision. And here we go. So we've actually ended over here, which is strange. But I was kind of hoping they would show me this. So there's an ice refinery over here. And I believe they produce water. And we can... If we get ourselves a freighter, then that would be amazing. Also, I didn't add my... I didn't give myself any money, which is fine. Which is absolutely fine. Let's get over to the wharf. And we'll, uh, we'll drop down that satellite. We might look into a mission or so. Now, if you want to see where those missions are on the map, if you head on over here to... It's this button, actually. Towards like this, this... It's this a filter icon? Probably. Go to the dots. Usually this is off. And it will give you everything is blue because you have a okay standing with them. Green is they love you and they you can do wrong with them. Uh, see it at advanced satellite. What a range. Turn this on. Show faction colors. You can highlight visitors if you like. Like if it's your own territory. And play around with these. Like epic lines and stuff like that. But uh, some of these... You can have show orders. I believe that... Oh, I hate these. Industrial espionage. That's the mission. That's cool. I like those. Let's go over... If we can see some of the buy orders. Show allied orders. Nope. Where are you? Track lines, highlight visitors. Station property. There is an option and it will show you what they would require. Industrial espionage is a mission that I don't think I'm able to do. Let's take a look at that mission. Holy order, very easy. One satellite. Um, I will accept this. I will accept this. When you work, can count on you. Where do you want me to drop it? Oh, that is near the gate where the Xenon pop in and out. That That's, that's kind of mean. How many satellites do I have? Uh, we have two. I think this is a perfect place. Um, kind of. Let's let's do guidance over there. I don't think this is a timed mission. You can check that. Now it is the time left. Is is a stripe, so that's fine. Auto let's go autopiloting over there. Actually, no. We'll just fly ourselves. Disengage. I'm not going to be that lazy guy on YouTube or Twitch. I'll be it everywhere but there. <laughs> no. Empty space. Oh, come on. These stations look so cool. Look at that. I really love to look at these stations. They're really cool. Okay, let's uh, boost our way over there. And I think we can stop... 
nearly. We'll drop down a satellite. Let's press on map. I think we... I don't know why I would put it down there, actually. Let's put it down a bit more to the left. Actually, it's right. I never know. I, I'm one of those guys who needs to think which one is left or right. I know, it's sad. Let's go. Uh, also, I've been destroyed once before by a Xenon fighter who actually um, bravely made it into this territory. So, this time I've actually made a save. Let's deploy the satellite. It does give us cover about the solar power plant. It's really nice to know. What is the... Um, how much do they sell for? 18. That's kind of expensive. I don't like that. Let us do our mission. Set to active. Autopilot. I don't know why they would do this. That to me is strange considering this ship is so slow well we'll see well um i'll see you when we are near to this mission and once we've done the mission i think it would be a good time to end it and i'm thinking we're going for a small freighter just a small one not too expensive i'm thinking i would need in and about 200,000 because I would like to give him some some good shields and I think we're going to be crashing into this oh apparently not that is cool interesting what will happen hmm they they did work on the autopilot as far as I'm aware of so it is recalculating as you can see over there so it's nice. I'm, I'm very happy about the saving. I'll actually show it to you uh, once we hit the um, the satellite over there. I'll show you the uh, save times because those are very important. For me, they are. Let's head over there. I didn't turn on the light. Hopefully it's not too dark for you. Also, let me know. Do you want a... Um, I can change it. You know, if we do streams, we can do face cam. If we do videos, we don't, we, we, we don't have to. It's your decision. What I do ask of you is please support my channel by leaving a like on the video. Subscribe if you want to, not because you need to, just want to and, and enjoy your time. Watch the videos. There we go. Oh, a lot of fleets. Oh, that's, that's a way to lose your shields. Nice. Thank you. Jump gate. I Faulty don't logic. want to go through this gate because I know very well what's in there. And that's in on territory. So I'm going to put it down to Autopilot. disengage. Disengaged. We'll drop it in ourselves. And we'll beeline it out of here. Okay, I'll drop it here a bit to the side. Um, because this will bring you to two Xenon stations or systems. So a bit to the side here. Okay, let's uh, slow down. And drop a civilian satellite. Mission has been completed. Here we are. Let us go and do new save on the 4.1 beta. And... It is, uh, you can see, they changed even the bar of the saving. Sorry for the bomb there. So, I'm quite okay with it. So, looking very much forward to your suggestions. And have fun, guys. Have fun. See you next episode. And we'll end right now. See how fast it is? <laughs> have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.